You can go. <clears throat> you got you too, huh? Like an 18-wheeler on a sheet of ice. But I, uh, I just wanted to see for myself that it's possible to beat this thing. Almost beat it. You know how many rules you're breaking right now? I really just wanted to be in a room where no one was dying. So everyone's dying. I won't tell if you don't. What you got? I didn't mean for them to page you if you need to be with Meredith. No, I want to be wherever I can help and save lives, so it is your guys' lucky day. Well, slurred speech, slight droop in the face, left-sided weakness, and the arms and legs. He was also just arrested for kidnapping two teenage girls, possibly trafficking. I'm not sure that this is the life you're looking to save. I've already said a few things to this guy that could get me fired. Well, then, I guess I am his best chance at living long enough that he will rot in prison. <laughs> Silver lining? OK, it looks like an ischemic stroke. Mm -hmm. Let's start alter plays and get a CTA. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Abrams and Richardson are settled in. I want to weigh on Laman's ABG results. Make sure she's stable. Um, DeLuca, can you get Mr. Franklin settled? Dr. Bailey? Uh, my mom died in that room last night. I just need a minute. Dr. Bailey, hmm. you're superhuman. You know that, right? You got an ability to cut through crap unlike anyone I've ever seen. You're a world-class surgeon and an even better boss. So please, don't mistake this as disrespect when I say, go away. Go home. At the very least, go to your office and scream, break something, I don't know. Just take more than a minute. Because yes, even superhumans need more than a minute to grieve the loss of the person that made them who they are. We got this. Go away. Okay, how are we doing here? 